Hello and welcome to this episode of the Diary of Lawyer. And uh, I want to briefly talk about uh, another case that involves Credit Suisse um, and uh, a, a Japanese bank called SoftBank Group Corp. Um, so Credit Suisse has lodged a around a forty. $440 million claim against the Japan SoftBank Group in the UK. Uh, this is in relation to a dispute following the collapse of the specialist finance firm Greensill Capital. Now, so the Swiss lender, so uh, Credit Suisse is a Swiss lender, uh, it seeks to recover um, what it says the client's funds that uh, the company concerned, Greensill had lent to Katera, a soft bank, back to US Construction Group uh, that filed for bankruptcy in 2021. The suit um, filed in London states to examine the way that uh, Grancy restructured its relationship with the company called Katera, according to media reports. Now, Chris Soros, in its claim, uh, says that uh, Katera um, uh, restructured the restructuring of Katera in 2020 um, was done, let's just say, allegedly and unethically, to so that it could withdraw its, its uh, money despite knowing that the company concerned would be unable to repay the 440 million it owed to Credit Suisse. And the restructuring is alleged to have effectively placed Credit Suisse investor assets. Um, beyond reach. Now, the bank filed the documents in London's High Court um, earlier this month, it's April 2023, um, and said it planned to focus on what it calls maximizing recovery for investors in its chapter supply chain funds. Um, SoftBank has vowed to fight the claim. And in a statement, um, SoftBank said that after more than two years of attempting to ship claim for its own pool investment decision, uh, Credit Suisse has finally made a claim. Uh, but as expected, uh, the statement goes on to say, uh, it's, it, the, it's entirely without merit and will be defended vigorously. Uh, that sounds to be the sort of standard generally standard response in many of these suits. Now, just a brief background. Um, the UBS agreed around March 20, March 19th to buy Zurich rival Chris Swiss for around 3.2 billion US dollar, which it works out around 3 billion in Swiss uh, francs. Um, and the Supposed deal was um, orchestrated by the Swiss government, uh, uh, the central bank, and the market regulator to um, uh, sort of mitigate, avoid uh, the yeah, sort, of, sort of turmoil in the country's financial system. Also, the US Federal Reserve has given the go ahead to the deal whilst the European Union antitrust regulators um, gave it a temporary um, approval this month. Uh, uh, the Bank of England also uh, reportedly approved the takeover in the UK. So we'll, I think all eyes are on um, the announcements of Credit Suisse on its first quarter earnings around April 24th. So, we shall watch developments, but it's a sudden time of events for crisis, crisis which has for so many years uh, been one of the dominant forces uh, in the financial uh, markets, um, uh, in, in the banking sector. And of course, um, Switzerland is known for, has been known generations for its solid banking sector um, but there we are with the events and we shall leave it there
Thank you and we'll speak again.